When I say that I was glued to the TV, I mean literally that my, my butt was glued to the television. It was a really embarrassing situation. Oh. Yeah, well. Welcome to the uh, Ask Politics channel. I'm your host, Ricky Altieri, and today we're here with presidential candidate Reptar Cram. Welcome, Reptar. Ricky, we, we've been friends for three years. It's, it's Peter. Um, but I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to talk about some of the things that our team has uh, for the future of the Amherst. Yeah, welcome. Thank you. So who's managing your champagne? Champagne? Yeah, during who's, who's your champagne manager? Oh, yeah, it's, it's Ned. What are your other credentials? Well, for example, I've been lucky enough to work on several projects uh, the past three years here at Amherst. A lot of people know me for a spring concert. Last year we were lucky enough to get Macklemore. It's a pretty steep discount. Other people know me for the Transportation Council, which uh, the big thing is this, the spring and Thanksgiving break shuttle program, which a lot, lets a lot of students go home for break that they otherwise uh, wouldn't be able to. And look. Salty. Athlete divide is a big problem on this campus. What's your favorite coffee shop? Ricky, to answer, to answer your, your previous thing, I have people on both sides of that divide on my team, and really to speak of it as a divide does more harm than not. But we can, for example, look at orientation, look at the structure there. A lot of athletes and people in sports teams are either in practice or they're in structured lecture. I, I disagree. I think Reyes has much better mocha. Your eyebrows are a big presence. Are you going to give them a position in your cabinet? You're one to talk about her. My, my body is beautiful. Uh, you're right, Ricky. I'm sorry. No. You have big eyebrows. When I was sitting on the quad, and I was thinking about life at Amherst, what really struck me was a two by four. Uh, some freshman came from behind me with it and he just clocked me over the head. He just pummeled me. And I have this a massive bruise on my skull because of it. And, and it makes it really hard for me to remember things. I'm sorry to hear that, Ricky. Um, 